Hello everybody and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Guapish Rule 34. And today, as always, I am your quiz master. Quiz master Tanner. That's right. It's another quiz episode. We're doing it up big time. Joining us is our first contestant, Nico. Yeah, hey there, everybody. I really want to dedicate this episode to uh, a couple of recent subscribers of our. Uh, shout out to Shmoo and Tim Lasowski. Uh, you guys are the champs, okay? Yeah, I'm bringing home the gold for you. Thank you very much to all our recent subscribers that we got from that Wendigoon episode. We should have talked about that in the pre guap but oh well. Oh well. Uh, also joining us, our next contestant, Dylan. Whoa, I'm going to be happy if I even get one point on this quiz. I feel like you. Pro I feel, I'd be shocked if you did not get a single point. It's either if you end with one, that's up to you. But true, it's either going to be a lack of knowledge or too quick. Needing to go too quick on the draw anyway. And our final contestant, Jackson. Oh, I'm certainly cultured, but maybe not in the way this cool whiz hopes for me to be. <laughs> yeah, you're cultured oh. much like a uh, yogurt, as in bacteria infested. Oh. Um, that's right, guys. We're doing a quiz. It's the culture quiz. This is a quiz about culture, uh, now with uh, visuals. So, this quiz, as always, 50 questions uh, split into five segments. The categories for this quiz are film, art, television, music, and sports. So let's go ahead, get right into it. Section one, film with question one. Have your buzzer fingers ready, guys. Oh, they're ready. Question one. What series has the most numbered sequels? Nico? Okay, let's see here. I'm going to say, uh, I actually legitimately don't know this, so I'm going to hazard a guess here and say... Nightmare on Elm Street. That is not correct. Jackson? Uh, this is the obvious, most easy question ever. Um, obviously, it's the Fast and Furious series. That is also incorrect. Oh, damn. Dylan? Uh, fuck, what? Uh, <laughs> damn, those are like my top two answers, and now I have nothing. Let, uh, let's say... I don't even know, dude. Fucking some kind of Superman. No. Um. <laughs> do I want to do a light? We're just gonna. I'm not gonna do lightning rounds. We're just gonna go back through the line one more time. Uh. So, Nico, what's your next guess? Uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Also incorrect, Damn Jackson. It. Scary movie. No, this is a very Tanner answer, by the way, guys. Uh, I don't know Dylan. any series that have. I don't know any. Dylan, what's your uh, last guess at this one? Fuck, dude, I don't. Know. Halloween. I thought you guys were gonna get this one. Unfortunately, the answer is The Land Before Time. What? There's oh, how God many? damn it! Well, funny you should ask. Uh, bonus point. How many are there? Since none of you got it right, I'm not offering the bonus point to any of you. There are 14. Damn. I was gonna Land guess 13. Before Time Whoa. movies. Damn. So. I will okay. say, I got thrown off by that question a bit. I thought you meant TV series. No, this is the film category. Uh, you know. <laughs> in France. Question two. How many MCU movies are there? Nico? Uh, do we have to get exactly right? Um... Yes. Oh, damn. 28... Incorrect. I'll do whoever is closest, I guess. Okay. Uh, and I, I'll tell you if you get it exactly. Uh, Dylan? I'm fairly certain the answer is 26. Incorrect. Jackson? 25. Okay. And Nico got correct Holy with 30. Shit. With saying 28, there are in fact 33 MCU movies. Jesus. And that right there is fucking 30 too many. <laughs> <laughs> what are the three you want them to keep, Jackson? <laughs> um, the most three recent Spider movies. Okay. Those aren't in the MCU. <laughs> yeah. No way! Yeah, they're unfortunately not. Uh, question three. What was the first movie to gross $1 billion? Dylan? I may have clicked too soon. Was it... it, it I think it was uh, Avengers... 
Incorrect. What? It was much earlier than Avengers. Damn. Jackson? Um, this was the Titanic film. Correct! It is Titanic! Damn it. I, Damn it. I, I cannot believe I got that right. Dude, that was such a shot in the dark. My mind was like, it's Titanic. I'm like, no, there's no way. It was too early for a There's no dollars. way. But there is a way. Apparently. Alright, question four. What was the most ex... Yeah, okay, this is a different question. What was the most expensive film ever made? Okay, Jackson? Um, the first Avatar. No, the second Avatar, the second Avatar. The Way of the Incorrect. Water. Incorrect. Dylan. Uh, I'm gonna say... It has to be a fucking MCU movie. I'm gonna say... Uh, Avengers Infinity War. Incorrect. Nico? Dude, could this be Star Wars The Force Awakens? That is correct. What it the is Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, I did not write down how much it cost. I think it's like three hundred and fifty million dollars or some bullshit. I think it's like way more than that. It might, and maybe it's it's less. I think than it's like an extra hundred mil, dude. Yeah, I think you're right. Actually, <laughs> I remember being like, "Damn, that's almost half a bill." Uh -huh. uh, anyway, question five. Name an actor who's dead. Points are available for everyone. Uh, Nico. Name an actor who's dead. Uh, let's go with... Uh, fuck, what's his name? Uh, O.J. Simpson. I, I guess I'll He's count him. He's an actor, him. Tanner, I, is he not? <laughs> I, I'll count him. I'll be broad with uh, what I'm counting as an actor. I feel go. like technically I should be like an actor ha is someone who made the bulk of their money acting, but I'll, mm. uh, I'll allow <laughs> it. Uh, Jackson? Robin Williams. Correct. Oh. And Dylan. Damn it. Uh, I'm gonna say... <laughs> Fuck, dude. Jackson took mine. And I literally I, I thought the most obvious one. I, yeah. I have nothing else. That is exactly who I was going to say if I didn't go with OJ. Um, I appreciate you, Nico. I would have not anybody else to fucking say. Damn. Uh, fuck. Yeah, I... I Dude, I there's thousands upon thousands of options. You see, when, when the human mind is put under pressure, it tends to forget obvious information. And I'm just really okay. drawn a blank here. Uh, I'm trying to like think of all the movies that I've ever watched. Uh, oh, oh, uh, Lance Reddick. Correct. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Lance Reddick. Uh... I feel bad for not remembering that one. Question six. I mean, you remembered it eventually. That's all that really matters. It should have been more prominent in my mind, Tanner. You're right. I would have gone for Chadwick Boseman. I don't know who that is. That Black Panther. Oh. Anyways... <laughs> What is the longest Hollywood film ever made? Dylan? I was gonna be funny and say Cleopatra, but I know there's one longer than that. Ah, damn. We were talking- I'm just gonna say Cleopatra, because there's also, like, a six- That's hour correct! Movie. What? There's no way! <laughs> yeah. You almost fucking bungled- Dude, I chose that one specifically because it was the longest, remember? <laughs> I, I thought we talked about a longer movie. I don't know why. There are longer move. No, no, no. Uh, what was, like- <laughs> There are longer movies, but they're not, like, Hollywood films. Oh, wait, what was, like, the Schneider Cuts, uh, uh the... Yeah, that's not a Hollywood film. Also, oh, okay. that was never in theaters, or okay. it's some bullshit. Whatever. Don't okay. worry about it. Okay. Question seven. Name one of the three major film award shows. Nico? The Oscars. Okay. Dylan? Is it Gra Grammys? Okay. And Jackson? The Emmys? Okay, all three of you were wrong. No uh, way! It's the what? Academy Awards, the Golden Globes, and BAFTA. I immediately... What did Nika say? I already forgot. He said the Oscars, there, which, that's the name of the award, but it's called the Academy Awards. Whoops. Dude, that's fucking retarded. No one calls it the Academy <laughs> Awards. Everyone calls it the Oscars. They do, but I decided to be pedantic and fuck you over, because I you knew you'd say the bitch. Oscars. <laughs> Um, I am impressed that you guys all got this wrong. I'll be honest. We live to impress. <laughs> okay. Next question, question eight. 
What genre is generally considered a starting point for newbie directors? Jackson? Action. Incorrect. Nico? Horror. That is correct. Damn it. I actually knew that one. Yeah, yeah, he knew that one. This is a this is a commonly known thing. Oh, it, oh, it's commonly known. <laughs> Whoopsies. Yeah, I'd say yeah. so. Well, Question nine: Who was the most famous comedy actor during the silent era? Nico. Uh, dude, that would be Adolf Hitler. I'm kidding. Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> Correct. Oh. Charlie Chaplin. Probably Charles. Have to know when the silent era was, I guess. It's when movies did not have sound. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> question 10. I believe this one, uh, questions are available for everyone. Ooh. Or, like, answers are available to everyone. Points. Whatever the fuck. Mm. Name a foreign film that Tanner has seen that wasn't part of Guapish at the movies. This is bullshit. Nico? That wasn't part of Guapish at the movies. Yeah. Um, let's go with... My Neighbor Totoro. I have, in fact, seen My Neighbor Totoro. Let's Dylan? Go. I, I don't know why I clicked. I, I, I don't know what movies you have or have not watched, and I only know the foreign movies we've watched at Guapish at the movies. You are gonna have to just try and guess any foreign film you know of. Uh, Ponyo. I have seen Ponyo. Let's fucking go! I saw Ghibli. that one in theaters, even. Let's go. Uh, Jackson? Uh, I'm gonna say Spirited Away, even though I feel like you haven't seen Spirited Away. That's the one with the old lady in the bathhouse, right? Yes. Yeah. I have seen that one. Let's go. No Ghibli way. movies I for saw the win. most of the uh, Ghibli movies, like, in two days uh, when I was about to lose my Mac subscription. Wait, is it Ghibli or Ghibli? Who cares? Okay, fantastic. So, going into our pity point, uh, Jackson and Dylan, you guys are tied. Fuck. So you're going to take turns with this pity point and uh, just try and grab as many points as you can. Okay. Uh, I'll say starting with Dylan. Okay. Uh, name as many directors as you can. Taika Watiti. Okay, Jackson. Uh, Mamoru Hosoda. <laughs> I'll just believe you on that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dylan? Just, just throwing out Japanese names. <laughs> okay. Uh... Uh, I am keeping a timer. That, that's fair. That's it, dude. They're fucking tapped <laughs> out. They don't have anymore. Still running out the timer for me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? I'll pass to Jackson. Fuck it. Okay, Jackson. M Night, M Night Shyamalan. Correct, Fuck. Dylan. <laughs> I pass to Jackson. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Fucking, uh... What, what the fuck's the guy's name? The fucking... The dude that made all the famous movies. Um... <laughs> Charlie Chaplin. No, not Charlie Chaplin. I'm filing my fucking blank on this. He's the fucker that made, like, um... Okay, I'm calling time on that one. What's um, that guy? Schneider. <laughs> Schneider, that guy. Uh, maybe, but time's already up. You guys should have gone like, you know, Quentin Tarantino. That's what yeah. I was thinking of. I was thinking of Tarantino. <laughs> I couldn't think of his fucking name. I don't know directors. Guillermo del Toro. Oh, yeah. Michael uh, Bay. Huh? Michael Bay, J.J. Huh? Abrams. You know, to be completely honest, names. people memed the hell out of Michael Bay, so I forgot he was a director. Ronald Ehrenreich. I don't know who that Ronald is. Ronald Reagan. Anyways, uh, Dylan got one point, and Jackson got two. There you go, Jackson. We're insane. We can have three directors between the two of us. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> art. So, moving on to section two. Art. Rip me. So, starting off, we have uh, this section. Oh. Chimp or elephant? <laughs> I am going to show you a painting, <laughs> and you must tell me if it was made by a chimp and an elephant. You don't have to buzz in here. Oh. Uh, you all get to, you know, give me an answer. All right, painting one. Was this one made by a chimp or an elephant? Uh, Nico, what's your answer? Elephant. Nico says elephant. Dylan? Elephant. Okay, and Jackson? Um, I'm definitely thinking elephant on this one as well. That is correct Let's from go. all three of you. This was, in fact, painted by an elephant. 
crazy. It's quite beautiful. I admire the brush strokes on it. <laughs> this one fucking sucks. <laughs> Do you think the blue is the elephant? Anyway, next one is this made by a chimp or an elephant, Nico. Um, this is a much tougher one. I, I think I'm gonna go elephant again, though. Okay, Dylan. Chimp. Okay, Jackson. I'm also saying chimp. This one is, in fact, Chimp. Well, let's go. Okay, and we got one more painting left in the Chimp or Elephant section. Is this one Chimp or Elephant? Nico? Oh, that's hardcore Chimp, dude. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dylan? I'm gonna say Elephant on this one. Ooh, interesting. Jackson? This is some major Chimp activities here. Oh, this is actually a Jackson Pollock painting. <laughs> uh, nice try, guys. How could you not recognize Fuck. it? <laughs> Nico and Jackson are correct. This is, in fact, a chimp painting. I want to have faith in the elephant. <laughs> That's far too sporadic for an elephant. An nah, elephant dude. needs to do much more simple uh, strokes on it. Ah. Question 14. What is the most money anyone has ever paid for a piece of artwork? Uh, Jackson... Um, 1.2 billion dollars. All right, Nico. Uh, let's go. Uh, hmm. Let's go 1.3 billion dollars. Okay, Dylan. Too goddamn much. Uh, 2.3 billion. Okay, uh, I believe... Jackson got that one right. It's 450.3 million. Damn. I'm shocked it's that low. <laughs> I am actually, yeah. <laughs> me too, me man. As well. <laughs> I don't have a picture of the painting either. I, I should have grabbed that, but. Probably. It's like a Banksy or something, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a Banksy. So good job, Jackson, on getting that question correct. Uh, Marcus, what can I say? Jackson's uh, get ready to me. buzz in, guys. We're on question 15 now. Name four Renaissance artists. Dylan? Do you need first and last names? No. Uh, We're doing the easy mode. God, I might, I might, I'm gonna go with my gut, but I might get this completely wrong. Uh, Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Leonardo. That is correct. Let's Fantastic job. <laughs> Dude, it yeah. all makes sense now. <laughs> Do any of the rest of us get uh, chances to uh, name more artists? <laughs> no, uh, what? Are it. there more than these four? Anyway, <laughs> who made this? <laughs> Jackson? Me. I drew that yesterday. <laughs> Incorrect. Uh, Nico? Uh, Hitler. That is correct. I didn't see his no name is on there. I don't know if you read it or just... I, was, you know, I correctly... didn't read it. I just yeah, okay. guessed, like, okay... Well, this obviously isn't, like, one of the big people, so who else would Tanner pick? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Correct. <laughs> it's a pretty an good one, though, right? Anyways. Right? I think I see some... Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, question yeah. 17. Which artist famously cut off his ear? Nico? Uh, Da Vinci? Incorrect. Oh. Damn. Dylan? Shit, that was Oh yeah, was no, it wasn't. Guess. I'm retarded. Uh, <laughs> damn. Uh, I thought you were doing a bit there. <laughs> who am da I Vinci? thinking of right now? <laughs> no, Da Vinci just popped up in my ear because of the shitty ass fucking meme, so I was like, oh, that would be funny to say right now. <laughs> uh, fuck. I, I, was, I was banking on Da Vinci. This fucking sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna say Ra the, the Raphael guy, whatever his last name is. Okay, Jackson? Uh, Van Gogh? That is correct! <laughs> yeah, I know artists. <laughs> nice Shame. job to Jackson job, on getting Jackson. that you're, one. You're more cultured than I am. Definitively more cultured. Van Gogh. Okay. I am about to have a piece of art pop up, and you have to tell me what's wrong with it. Nico? Uh, dude, 
Like, well, what do you mean by what's wrong with it? There's just, like, something that's, like... Something has been altered about this image, uh, and you're taking too long, so I'm okay. moving on Okay, he doesn't have Dylan. pubes! Incorrect. Damn. Dylan? Oh. Uh, he, he's missing his crown thing. Incorrect. Jackson? Um... My guess is also going to be that he doesn't have pubes on the statue. Let's say he did, the statue just doesn't have, like, dick and balls at all. Somebody took it. No. <laughs> um, I'll give you guys a hint before moving back through the row. It's going to be upper body. Uh, Nico. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess uh, he initially... No, he definitely had those abs. Fuck. Uh, his nipples should be bigger. He should have pointier nipples. No. Damn. Uh, Dylan. He should have a cape. No. And Jackson. It kind of looks like he's missing his right nipple. Correct. I'm insane. I've been staring at that, but I just... I find it interesting that you are talking about his nipples from his perspective and not saying the left one. He what knew you'd try and catch him in a gotcha, dude. You know, dude. <laughs> Gaming it is his right something. nipple, after all. You're you're not wrong. <laughs> I just find it weird to talk about it from the perspective of the statue. Um. Oh. Anyway, what's wrong here? Dylan, uh, she has eyebrows. <laughs> God damn Correct. it! <laughs> My phone was out of reach. Why did I say it took 2.5 seconds after Dylan? I I clicked first on my screen. That's funny. <laughs> That's unfortunate. My nice fucking job, up. Dylan. Okay, guys, last one. What's wrong here? Nico? Yeah, um... This fuck, is by far two. the most devious one. Yeah, I was about to say, those other two were su substantially more obvious. Let's go with... Uh, the, the boats in the background weren't originally there. Incorrect. Jackson? Uh, dude, the color of the sky is different. Incorrect. Dylan? Isn't the color of the water different? Incorrect. What? Okay, hint before we go back through the line. It does have to do with the guy himself. Nico? No way. Um... Uh, what, what the fuck was different about this? I uh, gave him a little bracelet. Incorrect. Jackson? Uh, oh, he doesn't have a nose. Correct! Yeah. Does he have a nose in the original one? He has nostrils. Uh, oh. He doesn't have a full schnoz, but I'll give it to you for po pointing out that it is the nose that's missing. Okay. I removed his nostrils. Huh. Yeah, I'm oh. glad you said it was something about him, because I'm like looking around like, was it the fucking boats? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's supposed to be three boats, not... Uh, you guys did pretty good that round, I'd say. Let's go. All right, pity point. This Give one's going to Dylan. Let's go. Dylan, please open up MS Paint and make me a drawing. Do I even have MS Paint? Have whatever drawing application exists by default on your computer. Purchase Photoshop and draw me a painting. <laughs> uh, oh, Paint 3D. Here we Tell go. Tell me when you have it open. I have it open. Do you want me to share my screen? You don't have to share your screen. I am giving you a, s s uh, a 60 second timer. No, that's too long. That's too long. <laughs> too long. I'm going to give you a 30 second timer. You will draw me the nicest picture you can, and I, uh, I'll, I'll award points based on how much I like it, okay? Okay. Are you ready to begin? I guess so. And start. Uh, Jackson and Nico, what do you guys think he is going to draw? Uh, Sans Undertale. Okay. I think it's I think it's gonna draw a cute cat. Oh. Yeah. I gotta say, Tanner, in that last section, the thing that like really fucked me up the most about like the David part was I did like immediately notice like the nipple thing, but my impression of that whole like situation was that you had like just like pulled some random like photos or photoshopped online. I didn't think it would be some super obvious like that that you just like did to them. No, I did. I did in fact do it all myself. Yeah, I was like, oh, uh, did he originally have abs? Was that is that what <laughs> changed here? And time! Dylan, no. let me see what you, uh, made. 
Okay. Oh, it's a smiley face it was on a blue to be a background. Sun. I, I was about to draw the the, the heat I see rays. it's the beginnings <laughs> of a sun. I'm gonna award you a solid four points for that one. Let's go. I definitely actually that's too generous. I'm doing three. Oh. I was gonna say four points. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that's fine. The pity yeah. point rounds are supposed to be high point rounds. This that's what's seeming like. It seems like it's much more advantageous to just like uh, fuck yourself over so you can get them <laughs> sweet sweet pity points. Uh, no. Unless. Anyway, on to section three, television. Whoa. Uh. Oh boy, I haven't okay. watched this in years. Question 21. What is the most watched daytime talk show? Nico? Oprah. Incorrect. Jackson. There's no fucking way. Ellen? Incorrect. Dylan? Uh... Uh, that's a nighttime show. What shows run during the day? Fuck it, I'm just gonna say Conan, even though I know it's a night show. Incorrect. Okay, your hint before we go back through the line. This one does involve multiple hosts. Oh. Nico? Fucking... <clears throat> oh, what are they called? Not Good Morning America. Uh... Fuck, it's got all them, uh, uh them raggedy-ass bitches on it. <laughs> Good Morning Vietnam. What do they call it? Shit. It's like more. It's like what they parody morning and mimosas with in uh, American Dad. Fuck. What is it called? <laughs> Shit. Uh... We might have to move on from these here, old Nico. crows. Incorrect. I think I'm not. I'm actually not sure if you're thinking of the right thing because I don't think that this show is what they're parodying in American Dad. Uh, Jackson. Um, Good Morning America. Incorrect. Dylan? Probably some cooking show bullshit. Uh, Incorrect. The answer is The View. God damn it! Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking of. The Never one with it. Whoopi Goldberg yeah. and all those broads. Um, Fun fact, Whoopi Goldberg changed her name to Goldberg so that she'd sound more Jewish and that she'd be more successful in the entertainment industry. And it worked. Anyways, yeah. um... Funnily enough, yet again, you guys have gotten the one question I had a bonus point on wrong, so, uh... Unfortunately. Had someone gotten this right, I would have asked you how many episodes have there been, and there have been over 5,000. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. What the fuck? It's because it's a daily show that's been on for, like, ten years. Fair enough. Uh, question 22. How many seasons of The Simpsons are there? Dylan? I don't know, there's something like 29... Okay, we'll go for we'll we'll do closest unless someone gets it again. Uh, Dylan said twenty nine. Nico, thirty four. Correct. God there are thirty four yeah. seasons so of The Simpsons. Keep what throwing the adult animation my way, Tanner. That's my wheelhouse, dude. I only buzzed in this fast because I knew if Nico got it, he would have gotten it right. <laughs> so I was trying. That's to... my only adult animation question. Sorry, no. buddy. Unfortunate. He's got to keep uh, it balanced. <laughs> question 23. What show had the most expensive pilot episode ever? What? Nico? Dude, that would be uh, Marco Polo. Incorrect. Damn. Jackson. Uh, Corey in the house. <laughs> also incorrect. Dylan? I'm just going to... I don't... I, don't th I definitely don't think this is correct, but I'm going to say Grim. Also incorrect. Uh, my hint for us going back through this one. Um, okay, so it is a drama series. I believe it premiered on AMC. Uh, and this episode was famously directed by J.J. Abrams. Uh, Nico? J.J. Abrams. Uh, the Flash? Incorrect. Damn. Jackson? Um, dude, this is, um, you know, hold on, wait, what? Um, dude, it's that one show, you know, wait, hold on. Uh huh. Keep holding, keep holding. What the fuck uh -huh. is it called? The Boys? I don't know. Incorrect. Uh, Dylan? Uh, Invincible. Also incorrect. Uh, the answer is Lost. <clears throat> Dang. No is way. that still the most? Yes. They had to buy a whole private island. 
They had to buy a whole island and an entire plane to crash upon it. Hmm. 24. How many of the Walking Dead spin-off shows are there, both live and in production? Nico? And in production? Fuck. Uh... <laughs> eight? We'll do closest wins. That is not the exact answer. Dylan? There can't be that. I'm gonna say seven. Also not the exact answer. Jackson? Do I want to go high or do I want to go <laughs> low? I've got a 50-50 shot of winning this question here. Can sure I fuck buddy? it up? Uh, let me... I'm gonna go high on this one. I'm gonna say... What the fuck did Nico say? Seven? I'm gonna say eight. The answer... Is six. Dylan gets the point. Let's go. Nico. God fucking damn it. Nico also said eight, I, you son of a bitch. I lost the coin toss. <laughs> Bummer. Tanner, by the way, I would like to uh, challenge your lost uh, fucking answer previously. What does yours say? Uh, I'm seeing vinyl. Huh? If some show called Vinyl was 30 million for their uh, first ep for their pilot episode. Where was? What is that? Uh, I don't fucking know. Also, dude. I'm pretty sure Lost was more than 30 million. Um, from what I'm seeing here, Lost was between 10 to 14 million. Maybe. If you could prove to me that Vinyl is a real show and then convincingly claim you would have said that during that question. <laughs> I was about to well, say, that I can't do. That, so. uh, I've never heard of that show before, so. Uh... At least with Lost, you guys stood a chance, so uh, I am going to declare that the truth. Uh, oh, question 25. Name a show Tanner likes. Jackson? Uh, The Walking Dead. I do like The Walking Dead. Dylan? I'm wondering if I want to... Mm, Just play it the safe, The Bad dude. Batch. I do like The Bad Batch. There we go. Nico? Uh, Star Wars Clone Wars. I do like Star Wars Clone Wars. Congratulations, you have all earned a point on Let's this go. one. Let's go. This okay, question 26. When TVs first became widespread, how many channels were there? Nico? Eight. We'll do whoever is closest. That is not the exact answer. Dylan? Twelve. That is the exact answer. Congratulations, Dylan. Let's go. What can I say? I used to watch TV at my grandparents' house like all the time. You okay. were alive when TVs first became widespread. <laughs> not, not what I meant by that, Jackson. <laughs> okay. what did, anyways. <laughs> Don't worry about question it. Question 27. Who's the creator and executive producer of the Law & Order franchise? Nico? Uh, Ice-T. Incorrect. What? Jackson? Philip DeFranco. Incorrect. Dylan. LL Cool J. Also incorrect. Uh, hint, he has a funny name that gets thrown around a lot in like, you know, those memes where it's like executive producer, blank, blank. Mm. Uh, Nico. It's like fucking, it's fucking wolf something. It's like, uh, it's not wolf job. That's the fucking Game Grumps <laughs> thing. Uh. <laughs> Tanner, throw up an image of Wolf Job here. Uh, I'm not gonna throw. I mean, you're the editor, so I guess yeah. do what you want. Uh, but. Dick Wolf. That's correct. It is Dick Wolf. Let's, Let's go. go. I would have never guessed. Executive producer Dick Wolf. Wolf Job. What a deep cut. <laughs> Question twenty-eight. What is the longest-running live-action sitcom? Nico. Live-action sitcom. Mm-hmm. Um... Shit, are there, like, any still going, like, specifically sitcom? That's a toughie, dude. Let's... Fuck, uh, there's so many that pop up in my head here. Let's... Nico, are you telling me you're buzzing in without knowing the answer? Yeah? Um, let's just uh, fucking throw one out here. I guess let's say... Uh, Big Bang Theory... Incorrect. Whoa. Dylan? Damn. Two and a half men. Incorrect. Fact. Jackson? How I Met Your Mother? Also incorrect. Uh, my hint is that it is actually currently still running. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Nico? 
Oh, hang on. Isn't it always sunny? It is. What? It's always sunny in Philadelphia. The one show oh. Nico's watch. I was yeah. I was shocked. Nico did not get that one instantly. Yeah, I listen to like their podcast and everything too. I didn't realize it was long sunny. <laughs> Oh. I thought that just stopped airing like 10 years ago. No. I forgot it existed. Question 29. How many different versions of Scooby-Doo have there been? Dylan. There's been like eight. We'll do closest. That is not the exact answer. Fuck. Jackson. 20. Also not the exact answer. <laughs> Nico. Um, are you counting, like, the movies? I'm as not being, like, counting movie. Different versions okay. of the Scooby-Doo property as a television series. As a television series. Um, fuck, let's see. Because, like, they, there's, like, the original one. Um, they had, like, one where, like, Scooby was a little kid. Uh, it was, was he was, puppy. like, a little puppy. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was like a pup named Scooby Doo. Yeah, yeah there was like uh, you know what's new Scooby Doo. That's a, that was a big one. There was like one that was just Scooby and Shaggy. I think just that say was a number, you nerd. I, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'd say seven. Okay, this so is balls of tillings. Hang on, actually, uh, let's say nine. Okay. Uh, Nico is closer by one. Damn. Nico, or uh, Jackson and Dylan tied at six away. The answer is fourteen. Fourteen. Whoa. Good God! I thought yes. I just, um, I just oddly enough looked this up with a coworker like this last week too. I just didn't keep count. That is much more than I expected. But at the same time, I'm not surprised. There's a couple I've never fucking heard of, but I looked into it. So makes oh, okay. sense. Also, also like I've never heard of because they lasted like you know one season or whatever. Yeah, yeah exactly. Before they rebooted it next the next month, you know. <laughs> anyway, question thirty and the final question in the television section. What is a classic catchphrase featured in The Big Bang Theory? No. Nico Bazinga. That is. Correct. Dang it. And now, moving on to the pity point. This time it's Jackson. Whoa. Name as many game shows as you can. Um, Wheel of Fortune, Family Feud, um, Jeopardy, uh, The Price is Right. Uh, um, Law there's, other and ones order. I'm thinking of, there's other ones I'm thinking of, but I don't know what the fucking name of them is. Like, there was like that, that fucking uh, Nickelodeon one where they slimed them. Uh, Slime Town. <laughs> Slime Town, no. And time! Uh, dang it. Good effort, forgot good effort. Deal or no deal. Yeah, you forgot, you forgot my favorite, Hurl. Hurl? Never heard of it. And also, Hole in the Wall. Does Wipeout count? Oh, yeah. If hole huh. in the wall counts, wipeout has the count. Well, I, huh? I also wouldn't really call hole in the wall. Well, it is a game. Huh? I feel yeah, like hole in the wall. Game. To me, hole in the wall definitely is. Wipeout definitely raises a question in my mind, though. Is it because somebody I, died while playing it? Is that true? Anyways, yeah, it, we're moving on. <laughs> section four, music. Let's go. Davink. <laughs> <laughs> question thirty-one. Uh, oh, I gotta scroll to my answer key. Okay, okay, question 31. Name a Beatles song. Damn it. Points are available to everyone. Nico? Hey Jude. Correct. Dylan? Um, oh, what was that sunshine one? I'm walking on sunshine. No, <laughs> it's not that one, shut up. Uh, damn it. One I of the most famous bands of all time. I have one of their songs in my head right now. I can't think of the name of it. Whoa! Um, it's time to feel good! <laughs> anyway. They have maybe a hundred songs. Dozens of top hits. Damn. Are you going to give me an answer, Dylan? I, I can't. I can't. Form I'm thinking of the song. I can't think of the name, though. This is so Bummer. unfortunate. Jackson. I don't know a single fucking Beatles song. You can't. You can't name one. No. Okay. Well, Nico gets the point. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know why uh, Hey Jude is the one that immediately came to mind. I don't even really like this. Yeah, Hey Jude's a, Hey Jude is a weird one. I, I'd go like, you know, come together. Yeah. Uh, that's what it was! That's the one I was thinking of! Damn it! Yeah. I can't Yellow even like submarine. think of a Beatles song oh, in my head right. if you tell me to think of a Wait, Beatles song. Wait, would you have accepted Happy Birthday or was that, is that not count? What? I guess it's not all of them, never mind. Happy Birthday? What the yeah, fuck one of the, are you one of the Beatles about? band members made the Happy Birthday song. Yeah, Ringo Starr. It is that's true. not true. It is true. That's that's blatantly false. <laughs> it's not. That is wildly incorrect. Move on Anyways. to the next question, Tanner. Question 32. What artist is widely known as the king of pop? Bah! Nico? Michael Jackson. That is correct. It is Michael Jackson. Oh! <laughs> Uh, Shimona. Shimona. Uh, question 33. What was the first instrument ever invented? Damn it. Nico? The drum. Incorrect. Dylan? The lute. Incorrect. Damn it. Uh, Jackson? The rockin' stick. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> um. Good answer, Jackson. Right, my answer. hints before we go back through it. Dylan was close, kind of. Uh, how, Nico. How the fuck could they like be cl uh, like develop a fucking string instrument before a drum? How do they accomplish that? I said he's close, kind of. Okay, let's go with a. Uh, I, I I guess a fucking a broom and string. <laughs> Incorrect. Dylan. Is it a flute? Correct! Oh, oh I fuck! See. Hell yeah. When I, good job, Dylan. I'm really glad got you me got with my that kind of right. That was, that was good, Tanner. It was good. It was a good read. It sure was. <laughs> Alright, question 34. What is the highest selling album of all time? God. Nico? Dude, that would be Michael Jackson's greatest hits. Incorrect. Mm. Jackson? Oh, it's that one Lady Gaga album with bad romance on it. <laughs> Incorrect. Dylan? Oh, damn. Uh, probably an album sold by the Beatles. Incorrect. Oh. Uh, my hint before we go through, it is in fact a Michael Jackson album. Fuck. I don't know any names of albums, dude. Uh, it's named after one of, well, actually, all of his albums are named after his songs that are in them, but... Is it just Thriller? Correct! Whoa. Damn. Thriller is, I believe it's a 34 times platinum record. Jesus oh my Christ. god. Hey, it's ironic that it's question 34. Or coincidence, I guess, not ironic. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was completely intentional, that's how much effort I put into this. Question 35. Which of the following is not a classical composer? Oh, uh, this is going to be a multiple question one. So which of the following was not a classical composer? Not a composer from the classical era, not the classical genre. They are all part of the classical genre. Okay. A. Bach. B. Mozart. C. Beethoven. Or D. Tchaikovsky. Uh, you don't need to buzz in on this one. I'll just call you guys. Uh, oh. Nico, which one are you going? Um. Yeah, Beethoven. Okay. Dylan? Are you here? After. Well, yeah, I was gonna say. I, oh, I'm okay. not gonna give my explanation or reasoning. Uh, Tchaikovsky. Okay. Jackson? Uh, I'm gonna say Beethoven 2 for no particular reason. Okay. I successfully faked out Nico and Jackson. It is, in fact, Tchaikovsky. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a bit of a band nerd. I love all their music, though. Their music's fun. I've actually never heard of Tchaikovsky before. What? He has such a good piece, though. I, I played one of his pieces. It was yeah, very wh fun. Yeah, wh which one is he? The Nutcracker or some shit? Um, I don't think... I, he was more... I think it was, like, more military, like, march style. Anyways. Yeah, okay. The Running Man. We're going to be finishing off with this segment, which uh, I really like. It's called Real <laughs> or Fake. I'm going to show you the name of a music genre. You have to tell me if it's real or fake. My criteria for real is uh, if it's on Wikipedia 
or <laughs> this website I found called like musicgenres.net or some bullshit. Crazy. Uh, I would like to say that they're all fake because like, you know, uh, people get way too hyper specific with all these genres. Uh, just make it simple. It's jazz, Shut up. That's okay? That's the point it's of not, the... Yeah, it's not Garbo uh, d- Dango Funk, all right? <laughs> How did you know Garbo Dango Funk is on here? <laughs> Anyways, first one, turntablism. Uh, you all get there, there's points on the up up for grabs for everyone. Nico is turntablism. Dude, that shit's real. Okay, Dylan. No, nah, that shit fake. Okay, Jackson. Uh, real. Turntablism is a real genre. Under what umbrella? Under the umbrella of I don't think Tanner could think of Damn this. It. Anyways, next one, Doom Blues. <laughs> Doom Blues. Nico is fake. Doom Blues. Real or fake? Fake? Okay. Jackson? Real. Oh. Oh, Dylan says real. Jackson? I'm also saying real just because I want to be real because it sounds funny. Doom Blues Let's go. is in fact real. Damn. Dylan and Jackson walk away with the point. Alrighty. Yeah, that does sound kick ass. <laughs> Third one. Vomit noise. Is vomit noise a real or fake genre? Oh yeah, it's real. Nico? Nico says it's real. Dylan? I'm gonna say fake on this one. And Jackson. I'm gonna assume the bit of this category is they're all real. Uh so yeah, I'm gonna say this is real as well. Damn. Vomit noise is in fact real. <laughs> You motherfucker. This Tanner. is metal music with vomiting and shitting oh my God. noises played during the song. This is awful. Why don't you? That's just every real metal music? song. What are you talking about, <laughs> dude? Alright, next one. Ultra hyper pop. Ultra hyper pop. <laughs> is ultra hyper pop real or fake? Nico? This is where it starts getting real tough, you know, because like Jackson said, I feel like it would absolutely be a you sort of thing where every fucking bit for this is going to be that they're real. But at the same time, this just sounds too much like something you would come up with. (laughs) Yeah, I know Uh, I did a good job on this section. Let's hear it, Nico. What do you think? So I guess I'll say fake. Why not? Okay, Jackson. Um, I've actually heard of hyperpop before. I don't know. Hyperpop is a slightly more known uh, niche genre. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck Ultra Hyper Pop is, though, so I'm going to assume it's fake. Okay, breaking the rule he said just last round. I, this uh, one just seems like some shit you'd make up. Dylan? I'm going to say real because I, I, I want to believe the bit now. Ultra Hyper Pop is in fact God fake. God damn it. <laughs> I'm fucking insane. What can I say? Do the, do the other three not sound like something I would make up? The, yeah. the, the fucking... Uh, Doom Blues or whatever did, so that's why I said fake for it, but... <laughs> I just imagine gotcha, playing Doom okay. Eternal and some blues comes on. True. Last one. Syncopated Groove Sludge. Okay. Syncopated Groove Sludge. Yeah, it's fake. Nico says it's fake. Jackson? You'd fucking crack open your diary and... Be- not diary. <laughs> My <fucking> diary. <laughs> <laughs> Dear uh. diary. <laughs> Syncopated. <laughs> Syncopated groove sludge. Yes, Dylan. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say real because it just sounds goofy as fuck. And I, I want also to be think this is real. Congratulations, Nico. Damn. Syncopated groove sludge is in fact a fake genre I oh, made yeah. up. Oh yeah. I okay, was Jackson. gambling on you guys thinking that I did not know what the word syncopated is. I would hope you know what syncopated is. I right, pity point going to Dylan. Unfortunate. When do I Dylan, get Dylan, can it? you please name me one country, rock, pop, rap, and classical band slash artist? All right, so for country, you got Alan Jackson. For rock, you got uh, Daughtry, I guess. For pop, you got Katy Perry. For rap, you've got Eminem. For classical, let's go with... Do you want to, I guess, Guns N' Roses? Uh, I don't know if Guns N' Roses would count, actually. Uh, I'm going to assume those first two are real, because I don't feel like looking it up. What? You don't know who Howlin' Jackson is? Nope. Daughtry is more of a, is. like, Alta sort of band, I would say. <laughs> Alan Jackson is, like, one of the OG country singers. Oh, well. Uh, section 5, sports! 
Woo! I hope you guys are ready for this football! one. Football! Football! Speaking of football, question 41. What number is the next Super Bowl? Nico? That would be... 61. Okay, we'll do closest, and that is not the exact answer. It's nowhere Dylan. close. 62. Okay. Uh, Jackson is disconnected right now, but I know that you're next. 41. What? Uh, Nico is the closest. The next one is 58. I swear we were at 59 not too long ago. Uh, no, we were at 57 not too long ago. Well, so. clearly. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are ready for more sport, sports questions. I guess so. Just kidding, we're doing video games. That's okay, here we go. Question 42. We're fucked. Nico's here. What century was Nintendo founded? You would know this, you fucking nerd. Nico? Oh, uh, let's see. Century. Yes. Um, the 19th century. That is correct. And for Easiest a bonus point, question. can you give me the year down to the decade? Uh, uh, golly. Oh, um, let's say 1842. Incorrect. It was in the 1880s. I believe specifically 1889. Anyway, oh, oh, question 43. What was the first home console? Jackson. Oh god, I don't fucking know the Super Famicom. <laughs> Incorrect. Yeah, like that, that came after the first Famicom, <laughs> which is anyways, uh Nico. Dude, the Intellivision. Incorrect. Bummer. Dylan. I'm really banking on this random nonsense knowledge I have. Is it the virtual boy? What? <laughs> What? <laughs> Incorrect. That would be so fucking funny if that was the first home console. I don't know, man. Whatever. No, that's very off. Um, what is a hint that I can give here? Um, Maybe what company made it? I feel like Nico's gonna get it instantly once he knows the company name. But sure, the company that manufactured this one is Magnavox. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, Nico's second. Jackson, do you know the name of oh, Magnavox's no. one and only home console? He's gonna steal it. <laughs> I've literally never heard of Magnavox in my entire life. Bummer. He's not the gonna Magnavox steal it, quest. Nico. That's <laughs> shockingly close. That's insanely close. close. <laughs> what? Uh, wait, can I Nico, take a guess then? Oh. <laughs> the Magnavox Odyssey. <laughs> that is oh, that's, correct. That's funniest. <laughs> <laughs> you should have let me have... Nico knew you should have let me have a stab at it before he got it right. I'm sorry, but I arbitrarily decided I'm going in buzz in order on the second round. Damn it. 43, or 44... What, would, what game was Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo Entertainment System found on the same cartridge with? Uh, Nico. Duck Hunt. That is correct. I Duck got that Hunt. One. That's unfortunate. I actually knew that one. I did, and I was going to say Yoshi's Island. Bummer. Well, that was so much later. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Question 45 How many PlayStation systems have there been? Pedantic. Dylan. What does pedantic mean? Um, you, Nico will be annoyed at this answer. Uh, oh god. One, four, five. So he counted PlayStation 1 through 5 just now. No. <laughs> Sp <laughs> damn. Seven? We'll do closest gets it. Uh... That is not the exact answer. Damn. Nico? Okay, so just for some clarification here, Tanner, when you say PlayStation systems, are you kind of like all the different variations of each system as well? Would that be the pedantic way of going about this? I you would. I can only assume so. <laughs> you son of a bitch, Tanner. <laughs> uh, therefore, Fuck I guess you. I'll say like 18. Okay. Not the exact answer. Jackson. Um, I think I know all of like the actual console. I don't know how many fucking PSPs there are, so I'm gonna say like 13. Jackson gets it. It is 14. Uh, I forgot about the versions of PlayStation. I was count counting like the PSP, the PS Vita, all that shit. Damn it. Correct. 
Did you count the new handheld one? No. Was this a new new uh, one? No, I don't think... Now that I think... Did the list I look at have the PlayStation Portal on it? I don't think it was updated with the PlayStation Portal. Crazy. Um, I'm still close enough. Yeah, Did they have the closest. PlayStation Eye on there? That's not a... Well, that's a, that's like an accessory. Come it is on. an accessory if you were from the <laughs> Anyway, question 46. Who was the first iconic video game character? Dylan? Pikachu. <laughs> Damn. Wildly incorrect. Uh, Nico? <laughs> Pac-Man. Correct! No way. Dylan's entire reference for video games apparently like starts at the fucking 90s. So, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I never played video games before that, so... You, you know what Pac-Man is. I know what Pac-Man is, but I didn't think he was the first iconic. I would have said Mario. Mario would have been a better answer because he was also an arcade character. Yeah, why character. didn't you say Mario then? Because <laughs> uh, Pikachu was the first answer that popped in my head. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Question 47. How many games are there on Steam? Damn it, Jackson. Uh, this is as of, like, uh, four days ago or some shit. <laughs> nice. Uh, Nico. Uh, there's, there's really no reason to buzz in for this one whatsoever. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm only really handicapping myself here by doing so, but let's... There's so much fucking garbage shovelware on Steam as well. Um, uh, 542 million. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jackson? Um, obviously there's 69,420 games on Steam. Uh, <laughs> and Dylan? I'm gonna say 42,069. Uh, Jackson is the closest, and pretty dang close, too. There were, uh, as of, like, four days ago, 76,748 games on Steam. That's so much less than I would have ever expected. Yeah, like, you were... I, I like, I'm damn right porn. shocked they haven't broke a million. <laughs> well, I'm sure, you know, you probably have to get it past a couple things. Not really, Not from what I've seen. <laughs> eh, whatever. There just aren't that many people with that much time on their hands, I guess. Question yeah. 48. How many Kingdom Hearts releases or Kingdom Hearts games are there? These are unique releases with Kingdom Hearts in the title. Uh, we'll do closest wins and I'll tell you if you don't have it exactly. Dylan, 11. Not exact. Damn. Nico, Okay, so presumably you're not counting, like, uh, the fucking, like, bundles that they've done with a shitload of the games, then. Dylan, does it change your answer if I am including the bundles? No, bundles are stupid. Those are still separate games. Okay. Uh, uh, he is on my side, though. I, I am including the bundles. You're including the bundles. Um, I'm gonna say 16 of them, then. Okay. Jackson? Uh, 15. Uh, Nico is the closest by saying 16, but also less than halfway there. There are 34. What the fuck? Kingdom How? Hearts games. Oh my god. I don't. Okay. You said that's including the bundles. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that he's including like the bundles and the remakes. Fuck, dude. Oh, that's all oh my. Literally everything. Okay. Uh, question 49. How many playable characters are there in Genshin Impact? Jackson, you're fumbling. Nico. I, uh, uh, <laughs> like, um, 50. Okay. Not exact. Jackson. Uh, 54. Also not exact. Dylan. 53. Jackson is the closest. There are 81. Playable characters in Genshin Impact. I don't remember the list being fucking that long. 80? <laughs> I've looked at the character list. It doesn't look that long. I what? checked multiple sources on this one just to be sure. Huh. Okay. Final question of the video game section. Which of the following Pokemon was not in Pokemon Legends Arceus? This is a multiple choice one. Easy dub. A. Mascorane. B. Yanma. C. Pachirisu. Or D, Spirit Tomb. Uh, Nico? Uh, that would be... 
Masquerain. Okay. Dylan? Pachirisu. Okay. And Jackson? I'm also going to say Pachirisu. Nico is correct. It is ma- Masquerain. God damn it. Pachirisu was introduced in Gen 4. Of course they'd include it there. I swear I saw a Masquerain in my playthrough. Maybe I'm remembering something else. Unfortunately, uh, you know, as you guys can tell from the last three, I tried writing one specific question for each of you. Nico and Jackson got theirs. Uh, too bad Dylan fumbled the ball. Whatever. Anyway. That's what I'm here what do you for. Mean? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I, I am entertained to see what, how Dylan answers this pity point. Oh, Whoa. boy. You have ten guesses, Dylan. Oh, That's a lot of guesses. To, ge- to name as many games that are in Tanner's top ten games as possible. Uh, Guilty Gear. I'm counting them. Oh, okay. I thought you were going <laughs> to That's it. It's just guilty. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. It's just the whole top ten. Um, should, uh, actually, Nico, Jack, should I tell him if he gets them right or wrong as he goes? Sure, why not? Yeah, okay. Uh, guilty Gear is not on my list. I have barely played that game ever. Oh. These are all uh, games I have played. You're fucking destroying his brain right now. Top ten games you've played? What? Super Smash Brothers. Which one? Uh, Ultimate. Correct. Okay. Uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee. Incorrect. Fuck. Um. <laughs> Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> uh, Shaq Fu. Incorrect. Damn. This is unfortunate. Um. Luigi's Mansion. Incorrect. This is this is truly unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> let's go with. Oh wait, League of Legends. Incorrect. What? He There's ate no that way. game actually. Dota Two. Incorrect. I've the, never played Dota Finding Two. Finding of Isaac. Incorrect. Fuck my life. Uh, Dylan simply does not know Tanner apparently. Yeah, he really he does <laughs> not. I would say apparently. out of everybody in this Same group right played. now, I know the least amount about Tanner, except for the fact that he likes to talk about politics. Um, Name a political game. <laughs> there are none. Yes, there are. One of my games is very political, I'd say. Uh, is it that one game where the guy yells, OBJECTION! No. Oh, cool, you're not counting that as a guess. Uh, no, I, I mean, you didn't say a name of a game. So. I don't, I'm, I'm running, I'm running on empty here. What games have I seen Tanner playing? Uh, <laughs> I'd say most of these you have not seen me play. Heroes of the Storm. Incorrect. Unfortunate. How many of those did I actually get right? You, you got one right. You got Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. The, <laughs> the majority of these are Nintendo games. Of course um, they are. Just so that I didn't make this list and it go completely to waste. I'm not assigning points, but Jackson and Nico, how many do you think you can get? Uh, Celeste. I can get one. Col- Celeste yeah. is not on there. Celeste isn't on there? That's actually Celeste really shocking. Celeste is not on there, yeah. He put so much time into that game. Yeah. He's also put a lot of time into League of Legends, to be fair. Yeah, but that game <laughs> sucks, so like, why would he be on this top <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's say Slay the Spire. That one's on there, right? Slay the Spire's not on there. What? This man's fucking cracked. He doesn't even know his own top ten list. Yeah, what, what fucking games is this dude like? Uh, you know, like Breath of the Wild that's got to be on there. Breath of the Wild is on there. I didn't know you yeah. played that. It's unfortunate. Uh, let's say Chibi Robo. You love Chibi Robo. <laughs> not Chibi, Chibi Robo. Custom Robo, of course. Custom Robo uh, not on Golden there. Golden Eye for the Wii. No. You're a big Paper Mario what? guy. Uh-uh. Not Paper Risk Mario. Risk of Rain 2. No. Turok on the N64. <laughs> no, not Turok. <laughs> this is embarrassing, guys. Super I guess Mario. none of you know me. Super you Mario 64. No. You don't really talk about the games you like very often, I feel. <laughs> I guess I only talk about games I hate. Anyway, here's the, the full list. Fire Emblem Awakening, Super Smash Jesus. Brothers Ultimate, Star Fox 64, Telltale's The Walking Dead, Kid Icarus Uprising, Batman Arkham City, Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Fire Emblem Three Houses, and Into the Breach. Wait, none of these... Oh no, there it is. It was the second one you read. I'm not paying attention. Dude, you like A Link Between Worlds? That's fucking crazy. I've never heard you talk about that one. What the fuck Dude, is I Into fucking the love Breach? That game. The rest of these make sense, though. Dude, Into the Breach is one of those games that uh, is under 10 hours long to beat that Tanner says is not good. 
Uh, I don't think that's true. Anyway, <laughs> final question. Crazy statement. Star Fox 64 as well, by the way. Uh, Anyways, no. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Tanner doesn't Anyways, know how to play video games. Um, here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm going to... People get to know the number of points of everyone who has more than them, but not of the people who have lower than them. So, Nico? Uh-huh. You are going to DM me how many you're betting, but everyone gets to know the total amount you have. Whoa. And you can, you know, lie or truthfully tell them how many you're betting. I can lie, Nico cheat, has, steal. Yeah, exactly. Nico is in first place with 29 points. Whoa. Yeah. So go ahead and DM me how many you have. Actually, I guess uh, once Nico sends in his amount, I can just tell everyone what... Uh, the other ones are. Uh, how much I want to wager. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's go with... This seems like a nice round number. Okay. Round. Zero is a round number, after all. Round brick. Fantastic. Round Gonna write that down. Okay, Jackson, Whoa. you will be going next. You have 24 points. Go ahead and DM me how many you would like to bet. Nico had... Dude, thanks for DMing that to me, Jackson. <laughs> did he... <laughs> well... Well, I mean, it doesn't fucking matter at all. Yeah, it doesn't matter since Nico already sent in his, but... All right, fantastic. And Dylan, you are in third place with 23 points. Go ahead and DM me how many... <laughs> All right, fantastic. So, bets are in. We're on to the final question. Final question is going to be about architecture. Oh, damn it. Which of the following buildings is oldest? Is it A, the Taj Mahal in India, B, the White House in the United States, C, Buckingham Palace in England, or D, St. Basil's Cathedral in Russia? I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds to think, and then I'm just going to go down the line and ask you like usual, okay? Okay. Okay. Nico, do you have an answer for me? Uh, fuck, I have to like say in front of everyone? Okay, uh, let's go with D. Okay. Jackson? Uh, I'm also saying D. All right. Dylan? Against all odds and for no reason. Man, it's such a toss up. I'm just going to say B. You know, I, I gotta say, by the way, I really fucked myself over by like giving my legitimate answer to this, considering I had to answer first, because, you know, I, I really should have anticipated Jackson, like, you know. Uh, like copying what I said here. So if I really wanted to uh, five game, five mind, forehead mind this game, <laughs> I should have given what I thought would be an incorrect answer. Uh. I guess he could have done that, but then Dylan might have fucked you over. So he could have, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, Jackson and Nico are correct. It is <laughs> yeah. Saint Basil's Cathedral. <laughs> I'm fucking insane. Which no! means? Thanks, Nico. In last place, with uh, zero points, is Dylan. Yes. In second place, with 34 points, is Nico. Ah! And in first place, the winner of the culture quiz with 48 points, Jackson. Yo, no That's way, the my boy. Job. It's bullshit, dude. It's bullshit. Why'd you have I, us, like, answer out loud in front of everyone like that, Tanner? Why did we just, like, you know, do a 3-2-1 answer sort of thing, dude? What the fuck is the deal here? I don't know. Jackson, were you legitimately just copying his answer? Um, I mean, yeah, I definitely took <laughs> took his <laughs> answer into... <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Anyway. Tanner fucked the quiz. No, I didn't. That's just uh, that's just a new level of strategy here. Sure. Yeah. I don't know if that cathedral is too, but I'm just imagining it's like some fucking wooden hut just somewhere in the middle of fucking nowhere. Frankly, I'm shocked that the Taj Mahal did not get any of you guys. Eh. Dude, that shit's been around for like 20 years. 
<laughs> okay. Anyway, that was the culture quiz. Speaking of culture, what oh. culture? I'm ready to get a little culture on down at the theater, the movie theater, perhaps. Well, we're doing guapish at the movies. Guapish at the movies. Whoa! On the half shell, they're the heroes four. In this day and age, who could ask for more? I don't know how much more I can go without getting copyrighted. That's all you Here's needed to do. Here's in a half shell. That's right, boys. It's Guapish at the Movie Time yet again. Jackson, what were the movies that we watched this week, dude? Our Patreon pick for this week, as requested by Mr. T on Patreon, thank you for the Patreon request, was Sound of Freedom, the 2023 film. Um, and I guess uh, I'll talk about it. So it's this is based on a true story about a... Emphasis on based, by the way. No, not true. Based, about very an, not based. Ice, an ICE officer, Wait, what? I'm pretty sure. what do you mean not based, Dylan? Just continue on with the... Just go on. Well, we'll talk <laughs> about this is later. Dylan pro-child sex That's later. That's not what I said. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Tanner. Jackson, explain the Anyways, movie. Anyways, um, as they alluded to, this is about an ICE officer who is trying to stop the uh, South American child sex trafficking ring, and it basically just goes through a couple operations he did to, you know, save some kids, get them out of the ring. Um, specifically, he's going after these two children who he's more connected to because he started one of his uh, cases off of them. Uh, and that's basically it. Um, it's very loosely based off of a true story, but, you know, it is what it is. Tana, what's your IQ? My IQ, as inspired by Sound of Freedom, Go Rescue Them Kids, Don't Trust a Pedophile, Predator Reboot. Ha, I get it, because they're predators. And they're in the jungle. How'd you guys yeah. like this movie? Dude, I thought it was good. Yeah, that was all right. Yeah, I think this one is a perfectly serviceable crime thriller. Um, uh -huh. I, I don't think it's... It, I don't think it's anything crazy, really. Um, I think it does... I think the, the best thing it does is that it does a really good job of addressing a very serious topic... Uh, without pulling acuities, you know? <laughs> yeah. 100%. They're definitely very restrained with how they go about it in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that is probably the one thing I respected most about this movie is exactly what you said. They got the idea across, but they didn't have to push any boundaries, really. Which, yeah, which I definitely know. think helps a lot with making the film feel a lot more approachable for, like, general audiences. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the uh, performances are pretty well done. I kind of wish... Uh, Jim Caviezel, a.k.a. our main character, Jim Ballard, Kim. was a bit less... I, I say the word stoic. I don't know if that's the exact term I want to go with. I, I, I wish I saw a, a tiny bit more emotion in him. Um, I wish he stopped fucking staring. Holy <laughs> shit. Dude was just lead paint staring everyone in this movie constantly. You're like So many awkward moments of him just staring at people, not saying anything as he thinks, but it's just like a really long, drawn-out shot of that. Why yeah. do you do that so often? <laughs> He's got the thousand-mile stare, dude. It's you drama, gotta, dude. You gotta hand it to him at the very least, though. He does a great job of portraying a man who's seen like a lot of really horrific shit in his days, okay? Yeah, he is a broken he man. He looks like he's on the breaking point of like just bursting into tears at all times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I can totally agree with that. I, I think um the standout performance for me was um the like ex-cartel guy he ends yeah. up teaming up with. Uh, I thought I really liked that character. I thought he was funny and stuff. I don't like that he, you know, was, a, you know, ac accidentally a pedophile. But anyways. Oh yeah. I mean, some of us have been there, you know. <laughs> How many of us have been there, Nico? Uh, one out of four, I'd say. There you go. Um, uh. who is it though? <laughs> go back through the Guapish uh, archives go, in order to find out. Deep who dive it was. into the Guapish lore to find Guapish that one. Guapish iceberg. Yeah. yeah. I think the biggest problem with this one is the jungle section. This yeah. section just obliterates the pacing of the film, and it kind of feels like an entirely other movie uh, at that point. It's so out of place. It's actually ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Especially when he fucking just appears behind the guy that's about to rape the chicken on the bed. It's so goofy. Like, what yeah. are they thinking when they went this direction? Yeah. It's so weird. Yeah, they really just... I, I mean, I, I guess... The weird thing is, it's an independent studio, so you want to say, like, oh, the producers just, like, got a hold of it, and they're like, we need a big action ending, uh, but, no, it's just kind of them, you know, they are the thing, so. Maybe it was, like, te well, no, not even test audiences, I've been, like, way too far in production at that point to shoot this big-ass extra thing. Yeah. 
Uh, Unless there yeah, was test them. audiences and like originally the movie just ended where they're like, well, the girl isn't here, but we saved these other ones. Yeah, yeah you know? it's based on a true story, yeah. so he had to have gone to the jungle. So he did not. That that section is entirely <laughs> made up. How do we know that? What do you fucking mean? How do we, <laughs> how do we know that? that? It said it was because... based on a true story. Yeah, the everything up until the jungle section is you know roughly based on true story all of that is entirely made up he did not infiltrate rebel territory and like rescue a girl from a militia you know i don't know what do you mean you don't honestly i think outside of the jungle scene i think my biggest gripe of this film is that it's really just kind of not that interesting to me like obviously it, it deals with some touchy subject matter I appreciate that it's bringing light to these issues, but I don't think it really is just a very entertaining film from a baseline. Like, it has some good moments with, like, the emotional draw. You know, like, that's that scene where he's talking to the father, and, you know, the father grabs the, the painting and looks at, or not the painting, the fucking picture of the kids in his office. You know, there's some really touching scenes in this film. I think it does a really good job with some of them, but most of the time, it's just not very entertaining for me. Um, like, the fucking, the big last, you know, coup de gras before the jungle scene, you know, the fucking island raid setup they were doing. I just feel like that wasn't handled super well. It just wasn't super engaging. Like, they had, like, the one conflict with the guy, and that was cool, where, you know, the guy has a his henchman pull out his gun on him. I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of tainted of, like, some modern TV tropes where it's just, like, constantly, like, twists or, like, there's always just something going wrong in the plan. Mm-hmm. It all just seemed like it went really cleanly and easily I imagine, for the most part, and it didn't feel very engaging because yeah, of that. Yeah, I imagine that's kind of like the sort of based on true events thing like holding back the story because i imagine that in real life uh the operation was pretty smooth and yeah they just you know surrender immediately and you know they got got you know yeah i also feel like this movie's really fucking long um, well, the, like, the jungle anything, section is fucking have, like forty minutes. It's like, yeah, it's like forty-five yeah, minutes. Yeah, think of the. If, it would have been better if they just cut out the jungle thing and took all the the combined amount of embellishment from that section and just sprinkled it in the rest of the story. There you, go. you know, like made the made the island raid thing a little bit more contentious. There was more, um, you know, moving parts with it and things that could have gone wrong. Maybe some things that did go wrong that were, you know picked up by like so special operators maybe it could have been like a cool scene where the fucking cops are like coming in and doing some like sneaky yeah. shit um to the people on the islanders and not yeah. just being like one big we got them all kind of thing yeah or like maybe when like they were bringing the second batch of kids like you know they caught on to what was going on and so like there was yeah. like this go through this sit in fucking boats obvious as shit <laughs> like i don't know how they didn't fucking see they're them, on the other honest. side of the island they're on the other side of the island yeah. uh still mm. Yeah, if they needed, like, some action scene at the very end, I agree, put the girl on the island, and then have, you know, someone realize at the last second, they grab the girl, they run onto their boat, and then Jim has to fucking chase her down, you know, if you need to do, you know, a last action scene or whatever. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, what was your guys' favorite line from this one, and why is it, uh, never trust a pedophile? (laughs) (laughs) You guys are cracking up with that one, dude. That's that. fucking. That's a. That's an objectively hilarious thing to hear said in like a big budget movie. It was pretty silly. I don't. I don't know about hilarious. Yeah. I also like. Yeah. So there's that line. You know. There's obviously like that's the sound of freedom. And then there's <laughs> um the line where Tim is like uh, because God's children aren't for sale. When I saw this in theaters, oh. there was one guy in the theater that went fuck yeah or whatever. <laughs> That, that was That's a good so line. I did, I did like that line. That was that was good. It's a solid Hey, one. man, brother. Yeah, Jackson fucking rolled his eyes deep into the back of his head. We had to fucking fish that shit out <laughs> in order to get him out when he heard that line. Insane. Anyway. Anyway. But yeah, I definitely think that, uh, you know... Uh, perhaps, like, we didn't watch this in the greatest way, the three of us. Uh, this is a really fucking heavy movie, uh, and I feel like some of that is definitely lost when, uh, we're just making jokes, calling each other pedophiles throughout the whole thing. Oh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Your guys' experience was tainted. I just sat here and wallowed in my <laughs> bad feelings, like, oh my god, this movie yeah, is so rough. uncomfortable, I hate this topic. <laughs> It was one of those moments where I was like, I really should have read the Plex summary before going into the movie, because I had no clue what it was about. That's funny. What did you yeah. think I about it overall, uh, you know, seeing it with that experience then, Dylan? Uh, obviously the topic at hand is really awkward, but I liked, like, the... Awkward. I want to talk, and my tanner's just gonna... No, keep going. It's <laughs> keep just, going, it's just awkward is, like, yes, objectively, it's a very mild way of putting it, though. 
Yeah, I, I... Yeah, like, you know, that one stand-up comedian who, uh, like, you know, delves into, like, some fucking serial killer or whatever, and then ends all that shit with, man, that guy was a jerk, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. What can I say I've been working on my comedy? Uh, no, but I liked... I like the resolve of the protagonist of this movie, um, because obviously there's shit like this happens in the world, but, you know, and there's people like this that are doing what this guy did throughout the entire movie, so I, I thought it was really cool seeing, like, the drive and the emotion behind all of that, and I, I, it's hard to say I enjoyed the movie, because it's kind of hard to say that, but I at least like the resolution where you know how things work out in the end where it's you know slowly but surely chipping away at the problem to say uh yeah generic positive comments about the movie i think it's well shot overall i think they do some cool things with the cinematography there's some uh engaging angles they deal with it i think the color grading i mentioned that at the start um is really well done i think it's a really nice pretty movie to look at um regardless of other things um, I think it's also pretty well acted, too, um, like Tanner said. I think uh, Vampiro did a, a really good job in his role. Um, I think he played it off really well. Um, yeah, generally a pretty solidly well-made movie for the most part. It's just kind of the pacing was the big hiccup for mm -hmm. me. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, if that's the case, Jackson boy, what are you going to be writing it? Uh, it pains me. I wanted to give this movie something higher, but I gave it a B plus. Honestly, that's uh, higher than I gave it. I gave it a B. Okay. I gave it an A minus. Yeah, fuck it. I'll give it my original rating then. Uh, yeah, I'll also give it a name. I was very unsure on how I wanted to rate this. It's a weird one to rate, to it be sure. sure. And it lands at a B plus overall. Not too shabby. Speaking of shabby, we're <laughs> talking about Tanner's pick of the week, that being the 1990s film Teenage Mutant Ninja Whoa. Turtles. Better watch Splinter! <laughs> anyway, Teenage Mutant Ninja what? Turtles, guys, you know what it is. We're in the 90s. We're in New York City. We've got the turtles. They're just there. Don't even worry about it. Uh, we find out there is a massive crime spree going on in the city. People are getting their stuff jacked all the time. April O'Neil, a local news reporter, she's uh, fucking accosted by some ninjas, and they get beat up, and she's like, what? And then later, they uh, Raphael saves her from uh, fucking some ninjas. She wasn't fucking the ninjas. I just was using fucking as a filler word there. I'm already taking too long to describe this plot. Uh, the, the turtles discover that the ninjas are part of a gang called the Foot, led by Shredder, and they're just jack and shit. I guess just to make money? Or something. I'm not. It's unclear. I suppose. Um, and the turtles have to stop them. The shredder kidnaps. Uh, what's what's his fucking name? Splinter. You yelled it at the beginning of the summary. Oh yeah. They kidnap Splinter. They fuck him up. The turtles, uh, you know, retreat to recover, and then uh, they go in and they fight the Foot Clan, and they rescue Splinter, and then they fight Shredder and <laughs> kick him into a garbage truck where he is then casually murdered by Casey Jones. The end. Oops! <laughs> My haiku as inspired by Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Four Ninja Turtles, Shredder and his teen army, Cowabunga Dude. Pretty solid. <laughs> yeah, I remember, uh, God, what was it? Referring to when Shre uh, Shredder's fucking falls into the into the garbage truck. I think my my wording was somewhere along the lines of pretty much what you said were the most casual, like, nonchalant deaths of all movie, in any movie of all time or whatever. <laughs> it's um, very fun. Casey Joe literally goes like, whoops, and then... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, crushes was, this guy to death. That was definitely a, a thing. This movie, I gotta, I gotta say, when I looked at like the the movie art, or the cover art, I was, I was worried uh, about it. But uh, it had like the same puppetry uh, that I akin to uh, Labyrinth, and I really enjoy the puppetry in that as well. And the costume design. They're both Jim Henson. They dude. are both Jim Henson. Oh, solid. That's probably why I like this movie. Uh, but yeah, go. like, between the costumes and the puppetry and all that, um, I mean, the acting wasn't anything to gawk at, but I kind of attribute that to, like, the, eh, I, w I don't want to say it's because of the era, because there are definitely good actors from eras, so, but, I don't know, I just, I thought the movie was paced fairly well, I liked, I liked the costumes and all that stuff, I, I don't really know what else to say besides all that, it was just a, mm -hmm. a funny, Action-y, action-ish movie. They they moved around surprisingly well in those turtle costumes. To, they are they're to they're say. hopping and jumping and doing flips and shit in those costumes. It's very yeah. impressive. I do have a quick question for Jackson. This is 
one of his very, very few introductions to the world of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, one problem I think this movie has is I don't think it actually teaches you very much about the turtles themselves. So I want to ask Jackson, could you give me the like basic character traits each of the turtles have? Based no. on this movie, nothing. Yeah, I didn't do a very no. good job. I, they they all just kind of seem like dumb teenagers. I like one of one of them's like hot headed. Okay, um, but that's like the only. I don't even know what the name of that one is. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the only one who really gets much characterization in this movie is Raphael. Um, we can kind of tell he's much more willing to go out and be around humans than the others, and he's you know more hot tempered. Uh, we get a just. A tiny sprinkling of like Leonardo. We can tell he's a bit more timid, but he's also the leader. Um, I don't know. I think they got then, Michelangelo pretty good. Michelangelo and Donatello are indistinguishable in this movie. They act exactly <laughs> yeah. the same. They did my boy They Donny even bad. have Donatello riding the skateboard, which, like, based on the cartoon, is a famously Michelangelo trait. So yeah. um, they did him dirty. My favorite they boy. did do him dirty like uh i don't because like fun fact though did you know originally in this film uh, michelangelo was supposed to have like a bit of a darker turn in his character uh like you know well once like you know splinter gets captured and everything he was supposed to start getting real angsty and angry and shit like that which was uh, supposed to be displayed in the farm scenes famously that uh, that part where tanner yelled splinter that was supposed to be michelangelo actually and in the movie if you play close attention you'll see it actually is michelangelo yelling that however they over they dubbed over it with Raphael instead because they just completely cut that subplot <laughs> yeah I think it makes more sense uh, to be Raphael too because it's like it's literally his fault that they discovered where uh, the turtles are and got splinter so yeah. fair enough dude yeah and uh, let's see it's a silly fun romp I think the action is pretty solid uh, throughout the movie I I think my biggest complaint is this movie has tonal issues. I do not think that it swaps between action, comedy, and then some of those more serious moments very well. Yeah. Oh boy, you could say that again. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of expect that out of a TMNT, but mm. I don't know. Because like, the only other movies I've seen are the Michael Bay live action movies yikes um, oh no yeah i know right well to be fair i think i've only seen the first one i wasn't crazy about it. i didn't like the way that they were portrayed uh they also don't look like teens so um the only other like and they do in this one they look more like teenagers than those ones true uh i think my only other two experiences are probably i always get the year wrong i think it's like the 2003 animated 2007 was it 2007 uh and yes. then 2000 like 12 nickelodeon version of nt as well those are like my only experiences uh. um but yeah like 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 you were saying i think it's action is serviceable uh it's 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 it does a fine job at i i, I think yeah, it can at times. Like, uh, that scene where they're, like, fighting the ninjas and shit like that in April's house, I thought was fine for the most part. Yeah. Uh, that big final fight with Shredder, that was garbage. Just a little bit. They, <laughs> like, yeah, they don't do anything, and then Splinter shows up and one-shots him, like... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also, and not like, even by punching him or anything, he just, you know, does a... Moves out of the uh, way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just kind of jukes him. The other issue with, like, that final fight, it's, it's just, like... Shredder was standing there while they were, like, talking to each other. I'm like, dude, in any other, like, version of Shredder... <laughs> They're just kind of, like, looking around, walking off in the yeah. background and shit. I was like, in any other version of Shredder... Like, Shredder's just a ruthless... Not necessarily a... Uh, he, I guess, killer. Yeah, I'd he say would be killer. fucking people up at all given times of the day if they were in his presence. So, just a little... Yeah, yeah not, not great, but... Honestly, Tanner, I'm downright baffled they didn't have, like, a whole section dedicated to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles questions on the culture quiz. <laughs> that would have been funny. That would have been funny. I should have done it. Um, who is Krang? Anyways, I like Casey <laughs> Jones just, like, as a concept. I don't know. I, ca I can't tell if he's well done in this movie. I just like the character of Casey Jones. Yeah. I thought he was fine. I, 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 they, <laughs> they constantly change. Uh, I was gonna say something that was wrong. They, eh, it's not important. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Jackson, what are your thoughts on the movie? Um, I think it's really fucking goofy. Um, I think the action is really goofy. Uh, I can't take anything seriously. I didn't really think it was that funny. Um, it's pretty mid for me. Goofy, but not funny. Very interesting. 
Well, like, I can tell that it's just, like, some goofy shenanigans, but I don't necessarily find that funny. Like, I'm, I can watch some fucking kids show and some goofy shit going on, but it's not entertaining. Okay. I do like the soundtrack. I like that the noise is in this movie. I think it's probably my favorite part. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty funny. Yeah. Um, do we have any other thoughts on this one? Nothing in per- Hi. Dude, for the ratings for this one, uh, I guess I'll kick us off here. I'll give it a go with a uh, C plus, I'm thinking. Okay. Jackson, what are you going to give it? Uh, I gave it a C. Interesting. Dylan? I'm just really unsure on a lot of the movies. Um, mm. Damn. Tanner, go ahead and give yours. I, I might need to keep looking over this list. Okay, my rating. I'm acknowledging this is my nostalgia winning, and it'll probably have to get lowered at a later date. Uh, I'm giving it an A-. minus. <laughs> Jesus. It's on the same tier as that Sound of Freedom, eh? Yes, sir. They're good in their own <laughs> ways, respectively. Uh, yeah. You know, I'll, me- I'll, I'll, me- I'll meet you there, Tanner. I'll, I'll also get- Fantastic. That puts it at, what, like a fucking B? That puts it at a solid B. Where You're right. Where the hell did I rank Labyrinth? It's too impossible high. to know. No, not Why too high. Why did that come to you? Uh, well, I... There's puppets in both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan, did you grow up with this movie? No. Okay. I did. Crazy. And I still gave that shit a C plus. Fuck younger me. He didn't know what he liked. <laughs> anyway, what's our last movie, Jackson? Nico's pick for this week was the 2004 film The Notebook, which he'll lovingly describe now. <laughs> lovingly? Dude, I'd love to. So The Notebook is a film about some old farts in a nursing home. One of them has, like, dementia or something, and the dude just, like, you know, he wants to remind her of their younger years. So he regales her a tale about how, you, like, you know, when they were young lovers back in Louisiana in the fucking South in 1944 or some bullshit, uh, he was uh, trying to, you know, uh, pop her cherry, which he successfully did. Then he went off to war because they had to break up because his father and mother just, uh, just wouldn't let him date or whatever the fuck. And then after years go by, she ends up getting with uh, some dude. They get engaged, but then, oh, you know what? Why don't I just, like, go see my ex again? Wouldn't that be silly? And then they fuck, and then they live happily ever after because of that. Uh, Here's my haiku as inspired by The Notebook. A summer romance. Again, a sordid affair. This dumb fucking bitch. <laughs> Welcome to Incel Hours, everyone. That's right. Hey, Dylan, why don't you kick us off? How'd you feel about this one? Uh, this was, in fact, not the movie that I was thinking of. I, I What'd you think it was? I I almost had the movie. I think it's called uh, is it called Stay with Me or something like that. It's it's some movie about somebody's like in the hospital in like some kind of coma and like they they might die. So this it, I'm not gonna explain the plot of that movie. We'll get to it eventually. Um, no, I I thought this was a surprisingly well made like romance movie because I'm mm. not usually super into romance movies. Uh, I've grown I've grown more accustomed to them over time. Um. What'd you like so much about this one? I like how there was, like, narration in the form of characters that we, at first, could have had an idea of who they were, but then as the movie went on and, you know, seeing how much time they spend together, you very quickly piece together, like, oh, these are the two people from the story. And then, because at that point, you're like, okay, I know how, I know they end up together in the end, but, like, how do they end up together in the end? And then it's, like, you just see their journey over time. But no, I just think this movie's, like, really sweet and you know emotionally charged and i i don't know it was it was what hold on what what's sweet about it dylan just that you know all the all the shit that they went through and how they still made it made it to the end and the shit they went through is her being betrothed to another man and then cheating on him listen dude i don't have to agree with everything this movie does i just think that it was pretty cute it's a story about enduring I, I, love I, tanner is it not i'm ready to skip to the rankings no, what? No, we can't do I that. Don't want to, I don't want to discuss this movie. I think I know Tanner's <laughs> feelings about this movie. I thought I knew yours, too. <laughs> Listen, dude, I only got depression, like, once, maybe twice. <laughs> it's getting better. All right, if we're, if we're, are we are skipping to the uh, the rankings? Dan, no, Dan we're Jackson, not actually Nico. just skipping to the rankings. <laughs> you guys weren't saying anything, so <laughs> let's hear it. I mean, my whole point is, like, this is not a romance story. This is just a dumb, narcissistic bitch doing whatever she pleases, no matter who it hurts. Like, like, fuck the main character in this movie, earnestly. I hate her. She sucks, Damn. and both of these dudes would be better off without her. The acting yeah, is agree. good, I guess. The acting's okay. But also, I this movie the- is aggressively predictable. 
which is bad yes. for a drama romance. And it just fundamentally fails at being a romance story. I do not believe that these two are in love. Literally the only thing we ever hear her like say about him as a reason why she is with him is that he dicks her down good. That's the only thing that she says about him as to why she wants to be with him and not this other guy who is literally described as being perfect for her. Yeah, literally just the fundamental setup of this story. I just they don't give it enough time to actually flesh out the romance as the baseline for literally all the actions for the rest of the movie. Like we we see some like cute shots of them being cute like teenage lovers and that's basically it and then the rest of the movie is predicated on that fact like well into their you know adulthood uh it's baffling frankly but like she has like the perfect ultimate setup with this husband and then fucking cheats on him for a summer fling baffling absolutely baffling and like tanner said this movie is absurdly predictable it is the most uh, generic plot line of all time for a romance film i also feel like they don't really do a good job like actually showing the guy's perspective on, like, what he went through. Like, I don't know why the fuck he's so fucked up on her for so long. Like, get... One, get over it, dude. It's been <laughs> years. Who... What the fuck's wrong with you? Uh, and two, I just... I just don't feel like they really did a good job, I guess. Like, if they're gonna lean into him being, like, super fucked up, I don't really... I don't know. I just didn't feel like they they did a good job presenting it, personally. Yeah, and I mean... F- I, I don't have a whole ton to say about this movie, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, like, fucking... Okay, so the, I don't the think film there is, like, is a charitable view to take here, Nico. Yeah, I know you're gonna the, try and play devil's advocate, but like, I think the devil lost this one. <laughs> Give me a second here, Tanner. So, like, the film is trying to portray this relationship and like uh, is being like, you know, this really like desirable and almost like acceptable sort of relationship. And this is not at all what a healthy or even a passionate relationship is supposed to look like. This is just pure melodrama, basically. Like, I, I get it, okay? Like, moves you're supposed to be, like, entertaining, and, like, drama is what gets people hooked in it, okay? But, like, I don't know, like, yeah, realistic relationships aren't, like, particularly interesting, but, like, this film is trying to convince you, again, that this is romantic. But as a result of that, there's just a major disconnect with me because we're I can't fucking get invested when this fucking bitch is uh, just, like, going out here fucking cheating on this dude, okay? <laughs> That's not romantic to me. Especially when the, there's a lot of weird shit that happens throughout this movie where, like, you know, like, right off the bat, this dude, like, fucking threatens suicide unless she goes on a date with him. That's not a... That doesn't seem particularly super healthy, I guess. I totally forgot the way he fucking gets her at the start. That's just that's just how dating worked back in the 40s, I guess. I guess so. Like, they fucking beat on each other throughout this... Okay, well, you know, more, she, like, beats on him throughout the movie. She's fucking, like, hitting him and shit like that. Uh, I, do, I did think that, like, you know, the part where he just, like, starts fucking slapping himself, that was kind of fun. It's like, yeah, what are we, like, really accomplishing here? That was, uh, that was neat, I guess. But also, like, when he's fucking talking to her, uh, when the, you know, they're finally, like, meeting in the street... And she, he's, like, trying to chat her up, like, hey, we had a date. Uh, you fucking tried to commit suicide if I didn't go out with you. No, I'm not fucking interested. He goes on, like, this long spiel about, like, look, I'll, I'll fucking change absolutely everything about myself. Who I am doesn't matter whatsoever. I just want to be with you. That, that, that's not... <laughs> that's not how it should work, guy. <laughs> Admittedly, though, like, the part where she says you're stupid and he says I, I can be that, too. That was also kind of sweet, though. I liked that part. But, you know, at the same time, fuck this movie. Oh, she fucking cheated on that. It was totally perfect, dude. Well, well why, why'd she do that? Also, apparently, by the way, guys, uh, in the book, she never sleeps with anyone after, like, she loses her virginity to him. She remains pure after that. She remains with her chaste intact until she fucking uh, decides to, uh, you know, stab her fiancé in the back. That makes it all okay, actually. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but also, I felt like the elderly part was kind of touching as well. That was... That was kind of nice. Why well, they fine. almost end the movie is fucking crazy, though. Right? They fucking... Like the, the fake out. <laughs> they fucking die in each other's arms, dude. Yeah, not even that, too, but, like, before that, I thought they were going to end the movie on the girl forgetting him and just freaking the fuck out. Oh, yeah. and it's just like some <laughs> traumatic event. I was like, Jesus Christ, there's no way they're going to end it on that. Yeah. I don't know. I, I like the idea that like, he's fucking reading to her every day to try and bring back uh, her, like, memories and shit like that for a couple more minutes. You know, that's nice. I do agree. That is a very touching thing to do, but unfortunately, because of that setup, it also makes the movie incredibly predictable. Yeah, and uh, not to mention also completely loses its impact since it's tied to these two chuckle fucks throughout the whole thing. Yeah. Tillin, what are you ranking the movie? Yeah. 
No, you guys go. No, you go your, first, Dylan. Your fucking face is hilarious right now. I need Dylan's to so fucking pissed off right now. Whoa. I'll fucking uh, live with that. I'm I gonna guess. give it a C minus personally. I'm very close to you, Nico. I gave it a D plus. Whoa. I'm giving this one a D minus. It's like irredeemable. <laughs> But not so irredeemable though that's an Yeah, F. it doesn't, you know, it didn't make me like want to, you know, cry myself to sleep, I guess. Yeah. So. It's, like, it's on the verge of redeemable. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, this movie lands at C minus. Honestly, I'm shocked it got dragged down that far. <laughs> Why are you that shocked like by it? I don't know. You know, that D minus with a lot more weight than I thought it did. What can I say? Dude, fucking, I was, I was honestly like really looking forward to this movie too, because like, uh, a fucking dude on a podcast who, you know, I, I think he's got good taste. The Anime Man, you may have heard of him, okay? All over on the Trash Chase podcast, perhaps I should have taken the name of their podcast into account here, but. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was talking about how, like, yeah, honestly, like, I watched The Notebook recently and I really liked it. It made me cry, you know? <laughs> and, I, well, you know, if he liked it, maybe I'll like it too. Yeah, you know, this is like a m big chick flick. Women fucking love this movie. Maybe women have a good idea of what's good here. <sighs> um... I don't think they do. Uh, We're turning into a Red Pill channel right now. Let's it, talk it, it's, about it's, female <laughs> hypergamy. Um... <laughs> But with that, guys, uh, I guess that's another co <laughs> that the movie's in the bag. <laughs> and because of that, we have some new movies we're going to be picking out this week. Dylan, what are you picking, 2014 dude? 2014 Godzilla. No way. That's a major shocker. Jackson, how about you, dude? Uh, dude, I'm picking a movie very similar to Godzilla. I've been talking about picking this movie for so long. You guys all love this film. I'm picking the, uh, the 2001 film Spirited Away. Whoa. No way, dude. And uh, how about we roll that Patreon... I'd love to. Let's roll that Patreon. And it was, in fact, the 2017 film Logan, as requested by uh, Netigant. Thank oh, you for the pick. Dude, there fucking we go. banger of a week. Are we going to be uh, checking out that like special black and white version of Logan? No, let's not okay. do that. <laughs> And if you, too, would like to get your movie recommended on over to us, then head on over to patreon.com forward slash guapish, where you can uh, get early access to all of our episodes, as well as you can watch our pre-show, The Pre-Guap. You'll get access to our Discord. Uh, you can also get 500 slime coins, which you can use for some purpose. We're not entirely sure what that is yet, but you can figure it out, maybe. And, of course, the big thing is that you get your name read out in every single episode, just like I'm going to do now. Thank you very much to Slade by Jay, Blake, Netigan, Kyler Nikolai, Uranium Infused Motor Skills, Toperman Man, Joshua Bean, I'm Gay for Godzilla, happy that we're watching Godzilla movie this week, Tutbot, Lucas Lede, Hunter, Jacob Edwards, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, everybody, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.